Hi, what's up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome back to another workout. Um, today we're going to do a workout with a stability ball. It's super windy, well not super windy, but kind of windy. So I hope uh, the ball won't just like roll away or anything um, while we're doing our warm up. Actually, because of that, um, we're going to just keep it in our hands during our warm up. So start stepping from side to side holding that ball. I mean, that's also training for our arms, right? This is going to be a lower body workout, but a bit of arm training. Yeah, that's always a good thing, right? It's good to train different parts of the body at the same time. So keep stepping from side to side. You see, it's so windy that I had to leave my backpack here so that the mat won't just like fly away. Maybe I chose a bad spot Spot to shoot the video I don't know but now I'm too lazy to go somewhere else I'm just gonna roll with it so now curl your legs curl and up maybe yeah hold that ball over your hat over your head right it's a hat with a D and not hat with a T and curl and curl and curl I did one stability ball workout before and that was quite a good video, I think. So let's see how this series turns out. Now we're going to do more than one of those stability ball workouts. Whew. Okay. Again, stepping from side to side. And yeah, in this workout, we're yeah, we're going to see how it goes. How it goes with the wind. Have some exercises. We have to like sit on the ball and I hope it won't just roll away, but we will find out. We will find out. Okay, now moving the ball from side to side and tapping your foot, tap and tap and tap. And tap and tap. And I have to get the backpack out of, backpack out of the way at some point. And a few more here okay so now the first exercise I hope we can do that because I hope the ball won't just like roll away it's supposed to stay here and we're doing kind of assisted squats so we're squatting down on the ball and we're getting better back up squat down on the ball and back up that's pretty easy right we can do that um, if you're somewhere out where there's wind be warned that the ball might just like fly away and then you might land on your butt. So always take a look down or back to see if that ball's still there. And that's actually pretty, pretty easy, right? We could just like try not to sit down too much, just to pop, tap the ball and up, tap the ball and up, tap it and up, tap it and up. And if you might think that this is just too easy, we're going to do some harder stuff soon. So enjoy the easy exercises while you can. Woo. And down, and down. Let's do 10 more here. 10, nine, eight, whoo, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one, and up. And now it's going to get kind of tricky, especially for me, because now we're going to do one leg, um, uh, one leg squats. So sit down on the ball, decide what leg to start. I'm going to start with my right. So I'm lifting my left off and up. And then if the ball is not flying away, maybe I will put it here so that it won't roll away. Let's change sides. So here and then down and up and down and up. And this can be kind of hard, kind of tricky, especially if the ball is moving due to wind or 
even if it's not moving, it's pretty hard. Let's do five more on this side. So that's one, three, two, three, four, and five. Okay, next side. And I'm trying to like put my stuff here so that the ball won't roll away. Oh, it's, ah, it's so horrible with the wind. I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think about that. Okay, let's try the other side. So up and, okay, we're starting down, sorry. And up and down and up and down and up okay it's working now and up and down and up and down Woo. five more and up and down up Woo. and down oh with the wind it's hard uh home of three more no it's three two and one Whew. I kind of fucked that up right that wasn't so nice to look at because of the wind maybe because I'm just suck at that but never mind we're going to get into the next exercise um, I can put my backpack away now because where do I put it where do I put it out oh, it's so Oh my god, it's so dirty here. Well, not really dirty, sandy. So now we're going to do some glute bridge variations. So come onto your back and then put your feet on the ball like that, right? And then you're going to press up into a glute bridge and all the way down and all the way up and all the way down up and down and we're creating and we're trying to create a straight line from our knees to our shoulders i'm sorry that this workout is so messed up because of the wind i hope i hope it's getting uh more normal more accurate by now and up and down and up and down slowly up and down with the ball we're creating instability and therefore we're using all those small muscles that we tend to ignore and up and down five more up and down that's one two, three, four, and five. Okay, now get up there and just pulse. Tiny little pulses for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down, Woo. oh darn, that was hard, right? I think, I think it was hard, but dirty flies. So next thing we're doing um, is one-sided glute bridges, or assisted one-sided glute bridges. So bring one leg at the side of the ball, the other one is on top of the ball, and then we're going to lift up and down but this time we're not going to go down onto the floor we're keeping our butt always hovering a few inches off the floor let's do 10 more here 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 
and one and keep it up there and pulse for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And down. And let's do the other side. Um, I will turn to that, that side for a moment so you can see my legs better. Oof. So, one leg and the side, the other one on top and up and down, up and down, assisted, one-sided or one-legged glued bridges, hovering your butt off the floor all the time. And 10 more here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. And now keep it up there and tiny little pulses for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And come down for a moment or come up. So we're not done with the glutes. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the ball here underneath ourselves. We're going to come onto the ball with a pelvis and coming into kind of a plank position. I don't know. In that position, your, no, your pelvis is on the ball and now you can let your like, legs hang a bit. And the exercise that we do now is like to uh, engage your glutes or lower back and lift those legs up and lift and lift lift and lift it's a really it can be a really tiny movement it can be a large movement as well if you have like a really flexible back but if you haven't it's a small movement but you feel you feel the squeeze in your glutes and you should think about that squeeze each time you're lifting those legs to intensify the workout because there's a mind-body connection. I've talked about this before, but maybe you're new to my workout, so I'm gonna talk about it again. And um, there's a mind-body connection. If you think about working out a certain part of your body and you think about the muscle and how you squeeze it, you're actually gonna squeeze it harder. Right? It's about concentration and stuff. Let's do 10 more here. So it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now hold it up there. Hold it, hold it. This is an isometric exercise. We're not moving anything. We're just keeping those muscles engaged, squeezing them for 10 more counts. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, next exercise. This time we're staying with the glute bridges, or we're going back to glute bridges, but this time the other way around. So what we're doing is we're coming onto the ball with our shoulders or shoulder blades or upper back, and then uh, a bit lower down. And then we're just going to pulse it here. All right, this is actually a pretty easy movement, right? Nothing hard about that, especially after doing those glute bridges with our legs on the ball. Those were really hard. These are pretty easy. But we want to give our butt a tiny rest maybe and engage some other muscles. So let's stick with that for a moment. Let's do 10 more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. And now come up onto your heels and the same thing here. Up and down, 
but now you're pressing your heels into the ground and that way we're working a kind of different set of muscles or the same muscles but with a different manner and some tiny little muscles and I just I'm just talking don't listen to me maybe yet yeah, do listen to me but sometimes I'm just talking just just to talk and uh, let's do 10 more here 10 9 8 7 squeeze 6 squeeze 5 squeeze 4 3 2 and 1 and now on your tippy toes and same thing here we're on our tippy toes and we're still doing those glute bridges and up and up and when we're on our tippy toes we feel our calves as well right you're feeling your calves do you and up and up Whew. I might get a little tan here with the sun. And up, and up, and up. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up here now, open and close those knees. Make those knees kiss, but keep your glutes engaged. Stay up on your tippy toes. Everything is engaged. You might start to feel a burn in your calves, in your glute. Stay with me. Open and close. And let's do 20 more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10, nine, eight seven six five four three two and one and come down for a moment Whew, still we're not done but we're closer to the end already so now next exercise inner and outer thighs so come onto the ground onto your side have your upper leg on the ball and your front or your lower leg in front of the ball. You're not touching the ground and you're just going up and down, up and down, up and down. Try to control that movement, not to wiggle around too much and up. And down. and let's do 20 more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now stay, keep it up here and tiny pulses. Teeny tiny pulses for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. And on to the other side, training our inner thighs. Who and I'm sorry, I'm fighting against ants here. Yeah, so many ants, ants and dirt, and I don't know why did I choose this place. Last time it was really nice, but today it was really stormy and rainy in the beginning, in the morning, and I think that's why, why it's so dirty. Okay, one leg on top, the other one in front. You can. Use your hand to keep your balance and then up and down. Oh, this side seems to be harder. Maybe I'm not lying correctly or not lying correctly, not lying the same way I did on the other side or I'm getting tired. Two possibilities or even more. 
Let's do 20 more counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and 20. Keep it up there in teeny tiny pulses for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Okay, so next exercise. Get rid of any ants that are on top of your body if you want to. I mean, if you want to be covered in ants, that's totally fine. I don't judge people for that. And now bring your legs on the ball. Lift your butt off the, bo off the, off the, ball, off the floor. And then bring your legs in and bring them out. And in and out. And in and out. This is the last exercise, by the way. After that, we're going to stretch. So keep up the good work. Stay with me. We're almost done. And in and out. 10 more here. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and number one. Woo! You did it, you did it. Great, great job. So now let's stretch. Therefore, we actually don't need the ball, but I know the ball will just fly away if I don't hold on to it. So yeah, um, come onto your back. I'm trying, I'm trying to just maybe hold it with my foot. Come onto your back and bring one foot over the knee, uh, over the other knee. Grab your thigh or your shin, whatever feels right, and pull that leg towards you in a figure four stretch. And you can hold any stretch as long as you like, of course. And maybe you have to hold onto your ball with your foot, maybe you don't. That's up to the weather, right? And let's switch legs. Okay. Oh, that feels really nice, right? Stretching, also the sun. Okay, now come up and sit with your legs in front of you, flexing your feet, make sure your ball is not going anywhere and see if you can grab your toes. If you cannot, you can hold on to your shins or wherever you're at and just feel a nice stretch in your calves, maybe flexing your feet a bit more and a bit less. Maybe rocking from side to side. Then come into a butterfly sit or a butterfly pose. It's totally fine if your legs are up here. It's totally normal if you don't stretch so much or if you're not as flexible in your hip flexors, with your hip flexor or in your hips. And then just like rock your legs up and down. Maybe push one side down. And then push the other side down. And goodbye ball. Goodbye. And I'm getting your ball and we're done. Thanks for working out with me and see you next time. 
And yeah, by the way, if you haven't noticed, next week, the, the next, next week's workout will be a workout in German. And the week after that, we're going to do another part of the stability ball series. Thanks for working out with me. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.